Before I play my first game, I need to make a few adjustments on my team. One of the first adjustments I'm going to do is adjust the playbook and the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into coaching. I'm going to go to uh, edit playbook. And then I want my roles to be clearly defined. So for Westbrook, I'll have him be the main pick and, uh, pick and roll guy so with some isolation and stuff. These, I'll probably keep it as it is. And then for my other players, I'll be switching up the roles. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. For example, for Gallinari, I already took out all the other stuff they had for him. They had post up, they had pick and roll and stuff. I don't want him to do any of that. I just want him to shoot threes, so I, I put only three point shot. Marcus Morris, they had him um, default at post up high, post up low, and pick and roll. I'll keep it as it is for now. If ever I need to change it, I'll change it after my first game or so. And for Ronnie Hood as well, I just want him to be mainly a shooter. So I'll put him at the three point shot as a priority. Clarkson will be my backup point guard, so I'll have him do some pick and roll. Uh, Trevor Booker, I won't be running much plays for him. Evan Turner as well. I'm just going to leave it as default. The players that I know I'm going to be uh, handling the ball with or running some offense, those are the guys that edit. Sabonis, so I won't be really um, caring about him that much. If he's open, he's open. If not, then, you know. Uh, Drew Holiday. Oh, Justin Holiday, my bad. He's also a backup point guard. So I'm going to have him do a pick and roll and three-point shots. Because he's a decent shooter as well. You want to have options for your main ball handler. You could use them off the ball or on the ball. So that is why I have two options. If he's on the ball, I'm going to have him doing pick and rolls. If he's off the ball, I'll try to run some threes for him. Um, Aaron Baines and Jason Terry is someone I'm going to run three-point shots for. I don't want him to run pick and rolls because it's kind of slow. Um, three-point shots. I don't know if I should add some mid-range for him as well. But for now, I'll try three-point shots only. And then the rest of the guys, I'm going to leave it as is. Handoff, isolation, post-up. So those are what I'm going to leave for now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to adjust a lot of these plays. And these are the default, uh, I used, sorry, these are not the default plays. I changed it up to the Warriors playbook. It was at 76ers, because obviously I'm the 76ers, but I changed it for the Warriors playbook. And I'm probably going to edit a few of these plays. For example, these ones, quick plays. Some, most of the time they don't really work because they're, they're way too quick. It's just a quick screen or two. And a lot of players you play against, they have good defenders and they beat the play. So I'm going to adjust these plays. I'm going to... I'm going to look for some nice plays and then I'm going to adjust my playbook. But I'm not gonna, really going to put it here because a lot of uh, league members, they, they're watching my video. So if ever I find a nice player, so they're probably going to use it against me. So I'm just going to let you guys know I'm going to edit these. So yeah, these are the plays that I edited or I will edit. And then I'll also show you guys uh, some trades that went down. They already had a few more trades that went down since my last video. It will be uh, at the front office. Oh no, Lee Management. Ah, I don't even know where it is. Hold up. <laughs> uh, where is it? It's probably in the news somewhere. There it is. Transaction report. We had um, two other trades since the last video. We had Gordon Hayward getting traded for CJ McCollum with Jeremy Lin and Ulis. And then we had another blockbuster trade here. DeMarcus Cousins, Holiday, Tatum for Chris Sass, Booker. That's a huge deal right there. That's basically trading your top four picks for the other top four picks. So that's a pretty, pretty big trade right there already. <laughs> so also, before I play my first game, I'm going to go into practice mode. Before I do that, I want to change my system. Right now, it's at the defense proficiency system, but I don't want that. I'm probably going to go for a system that my best two players will thrive in, which is Westbrook and Wade. Uh, what I wanted to do is, I think it was pace and space. This way I have, um, I don't know why Hoodie's in the middle. I was going to replace him for my center, which was Aldridge. There you go. There, pace and space, or was perimeter eccentric? Yeah, it was pace and space. That's what I'm going to make active for now. Pace and space. And for my starting center, I finally decided to put there wait hold up I lined up all my positions my overall so I have four centers so to make this decision I went with Cole Aldridge because if you go into the stats he has the badges obviously I showed it to you guys in the last video he has the badges he has five badges and then 
Rebounding wise, he has the best defensive rebounding. Offensive rebounding is pretty much the same. Almost the best. Box out his 85. Blocking wise is 76. Hustle 85. Shot contest 61, but that's not too good, but I can't ask for that much from my <laughs> these are my centers. I only have they're all rated like 70s and lower, so you can't expect the best of the best. And from backup center, I'm probably gonna go with Bam because he has 85 vert, 75 speed. That's pretty fast for a center. 85 hustle, 77 strength. So I'm probably gonna go with Bam as my backup. I have a feeling he's gonna be my starting center because I just have a feeling because he's quick, he's young. Well, you never know. I'll try switching these two up. I had Sabonis in my reserve, so I'm probably not going to use him. Even though he's the best offensive center I have. He has 74 mid. He has a decent post up. And then a Baines, I'm not sure if I'm going to use him as well. I'm going to rotate these three centers. Sabonis, like I said, is in my reserves. And from a power forward spot, I only have these two. I'll probably rotate Gallo and someone else at the four for some small ball action. And then my guards will be... I have so many guards, man. Westbrook and Wade, obviously, Terry, Clarkson, I have so many guards, I don't know who I'm going to use, but we'll see. As the games go on, who I'm going to trade, who I'm going to keep. So I'm going to jump into practice real quick. Alright guys, we're in practice mode, we're going to practice some of the plays, some freelance, um, test out some, some plays, my, practice my offense. Because as you guys know, oh that was terrible by the way. I'm trying to talk and play. It's not my forte. If I, if I want to be really good at the game, I usually don't talk over it. Like my focus is not completely on the game. It's trying to talk too, but I haven't played 5 on 5 that much since 2K16, so I'm really rusty in 5 on 5 gameplay. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I don't talk much when I play um, online like this because I really have to focus on the what's going on on the floor. Oh, 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 that was a slow fast break. Let's try to run a nice um, one of the plays here. Gallo off some screens. That looks like it's going to fail. Indeed it did. See, some plays don't work. It gets stuck or they're just not efficient at all. So this is why you gotta try all the plays until you find the ones that work for you. Oh, Westbrook, baby! So luckily for us, if some of our plays break down, we got Westbrook or D-Wade to create something off the dribble. To see how um, things go. So we're playing against our bench. So we're gonna see <laughs> how they fare against our starters. I left JC some space, he knocked down the mid. Let's try to run another play here. I'll run the first one. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, see, there's too much, too much people on the top here. I don't like this play. I don't like this play at all. See, lucky for us, we have... Um, how do you call this? We have no shot clock so we could practice these plays as much as we want without the shot clock going off oh that's a nice play right there so yeah, i'm just gonna keep practicing plays find the ones i like so when it comes to game time i won't be wasting some possessions because most games they come down to the wire and those wasted possessions will kill you we left jc open no rebounds. <laughs> oh, that was a nice block. Push, push. Oh, that was a nice move. Oh, I wanted to go all the way baseline. But he pulled up from midi. Because I pressed square too early. <laughs> That's what happens when you play NBA Live sometimes. You expect to dunk it from that, that range. I guess as soon as you press square from there, it's going to go for a dunk or animation. Man, Gallo is slow as hell. Look at that. You see how slow he runs off the screen? <laughs> Wait, let's run some um, some freelance real quick. Some movement going on. Gallo off the screen. He didn't get really open. 
we could mix this into a pick and roll. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'll just keep practicing a bit, then um, I'll post my first game. If you guys are excited to see my first game, hit up the comments, hit up the like button, show some support, baby.